So this is Ch or Chunky and Panda. I'm Panda, babe. I'm still Chunky. <laughs> and here's our big reveal. We, me and Chunky got a trailer and he's putting the tags on. It is official. It is legally road ready. Well, well to an extent. <laughs> but it's plated. It's plated. We have a 77. Holiday Renoulette. Her name is going to be Panda X Press with an X. We purchased her, what babe, two days ago, three days ago? Yep. And when Chunky will do oh, two parts, one of the, for this, and then another one for what it looks like on the inside. So, stay tuned. Seems like Chunky's having a hard time putting have, the plate on. We don't have all the tools we need. I don't have my <laughs> truck here with me. So I'm working out of a little uh, socket set in the trunk of her car that I got for Christmas this past year. I love it. It's not very helpful right now though. <laughs> what did you say? How do you skip 11? <laughs> Ten millimeter. Where's the eleven? There's twelve. Should no eleven. And the set's full. And it's mom. I'm the one who got it for you. Often to use an eleven, I suppose. <laughs> oh, momentarily, we'll have Chunky unlock and walk you guys through the inside of our new Ramblet. Again, we got a vintage. What? The? That side's on. We'll have to get another one, that's fine. And you know, we gotta support the red, white, and blue. America. Cause you know, Chunky loves our America. So. As she said, it is a 1977 holiday Ramblette. Uh, it is a part of the Rambler family. This is just a uh, sub model, I suppose. It is a true vintage. It does need a little work. But, but the inside is glorious. It, I uh, found love. And we're going to build it out the way that we want to. That was the whole idea. Yep. We're not going to get into purchase prices or anything. Um, no, that's none of y'all's business. We yeah. love y'all. We do. But um, it is something that we can build onto and make our own. Um, I will show you guys the inside in a minute. I'm going to have to come back and bring flyers for that last time. All right. All right, guys. Here's the inside reveal. So up front is the going to be the sleeping area. This fits up to a queen size bed. At one point, somebody built on and added this, which I love, which she loves. Um, it's got plenty of storage up top. We've got not one, but two and three roof vents. This is the prettiest part of the rig as of right now. <laughs> the original hardwood 1977 table is still with it. And it does work, but for travel purposes, we left it down. And then underneath that stuff is also more storage that we can lift up on both sides. Storage here that lifts up. Storage under here that also lifts up. Got a, a linoleum is nice little no. nook here. It's got a brand new radio, that, um, <laughs> Bluetooth radio at that, speakers. These are LED lights that are brand new that are up here. Um, yep. We move on to the other side, and this is where the kitchen area once was and is going to be again. Um, when they redid this the last time, they pulled the kitchen out of it. So it's got a little 120 plug-in fridge, um, some cabinets, of course. I'm going to put a sink and faucet and 
stuff back in here, but Don't again. Don't forget your favorite part about the upper cabinets, honey. Oh, yeah. Got to watch out for these. I don't know how people did it in the 70s. <laughs> uh, we, we were in this thing in the dark the other night, and it about knocked my block off. <laughs> but um, moving on, we have got storage pantry. This is where the electric is. On the other side, it's a big old another storage pantry. And then in the back here, um, it was actually just, it was built out to have two twin size beds, which we're going to pull. And I'm gonna put a bathroom back here and a little workspace. But again, as of right this second though, it's got storage under both sides. And then of course this was built in. But again, plenty of storage up top. Here's the third vent. Plenty of windows. Um, that's of course not a 1970s light or dimmer switch, but. Um, you have to show them this light fixture up here. The, I'm pretty sure it's the original. This little thing is cool. It is a light fixture, there's no bulb in it. Cool. Um, Newer air conditioner, so that's always a plus. But I'm gonna walk around, not say much for a second, and just uh, let y'all take a look. That is our new rig. A um, couple plans that we have uh, to get started. Of course, the older lights I'm gonna get replaced with some LEDs, um, some things like that. We are going to finish the trimming. We're gonna paint, um, build the master bedroom out correctly, how we want it. And then of course, like I said, get plumbing back in here, get the back room finished up. Um, it is very solid. And then I also want their input on something. Okay. All right, so. Since you guys were able to walk through the trailer, I, myself, am going to be the one that gets to paint and, you know, do the woman thing and make it pretty. What color paint do you guys think would go great with that wood in the background? I'm baffled. I can't choose. So please help me. <laughs> help her out, guys. So that is our new to us 1977 Holiday Rambler Vintage travel trailer that we are calling home. For... And we're happy with it. Very happy. Um, she gets to go out to the desert for the first time. She gets to experience all that. I'm excited. Um, I don't know why I just stuck my tongue out like a goof. But <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know a lot of you guys out there like uh, trailer walkthroughs. Um, there will definitely be a lot of project videos coming Absolutely. your way from both. And travel videos. A lot of, lot of projects from both me and Miss Panda here. And don't forget about Buckeye Kitty Cat. Yeah. Great mother-in-law. Love you, Ma. <laughs> Love you. But uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off for now. Until the next one, y'all. Be safe out there. Keep the shiny side up. Yep. Love y'all. Love ya. Say bye to everybody. Say bye.